Series veteran Rick Crawford has been a part of the NASCAR family since 1997, running a full-time schedule until 2009 with five wins and 336 races under his belt. He currently holds the record for the most starts in Truck Series history. His best points finish came in 2002, followed up by the biggest victory of his career in 2003 at Daytona. It's Rick Crawford making the pass, and Crawford wins to Daytona. Running a limited schedule over the last three years, Crawford is set to run the season opener at Daytona with Make Motorsports. This will mark the 13th Daytona start of Rick's career. We'd like to welcome Camping World Truck Series veteran Rick Crawford to the hub. Rick ran a full truck season from 1997 till 2009. Since then, run a handful of races here and there and a new deal you want to tell us about. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm here because of the Thornton family in Montana. Let me off this weekend to come run Daytona. So. Running for Make Motorsports, running the Daytona 250 Friday night for Super Seal products. So it's a great change for me. Rick, tell us about you, your plans past Daytona. You still want to run a few more races if we can get this deal, this whole thing together. I want to run a few races and uh, might put a youngster in the car or, or, or a short track veteran or something like that and, and let him run the truck and uh, get some more experience and maybe help build a foundation for Super Seal products and the Make Motorsports team. I think fans will be interested too in your sponsor, Super Seal. I know you have some more details you want to share as well. Absolutely. You know, Super Seal anti-fracture waterproof membrane, tile, carpet, laminate sub subfloor is available at Menards. Go to Super Seal website, click on your state, it will take you to the closest Menards. Super Seal and the subfloor is extremely durable, inexpensive, and easy to use. Menards has this product because it's the best in the country. A veteran salesman, he can make a pitch, people. That's because he's been around since the 90s. Did you hear my statement? It's easy to use. Easy? I mean, if you're in, the, you're in the north northeast where you've had all those storms, all the flooding, everything going on, a lot of snow, you're probably going to get the little dampness in your basement or something like that. You put this down, put your new floor on top of it, you won't have that again because it supersedes it. <laughs> Rick, I think fans would be interested to hear your perspective. Uh, start running in the trucks in 1997. Right. It seems like the series has changed since then. There's there's a younger movement coming through. What are some of the major differences you see from then to now? Well, I can tell you exactly what it was. When I came into the truck series, I was running short track uh, racing all over the country, just like Hornaday and Musgrave and Bobby Hamilton and all that. We used to race together. Rich Pickle was one of them. Uh, Jimmy Hensley was, was in the Bush series and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, the, the truck series was born. So veteran drivers started that truck series. Now, all of a sudden, the younger movement comes in. And I say young because now they drop the age of 16 yeah. to race in the trucks. Well, they start racing at eight, nine years old. They are experienced race car drivers by the time they're 14, 15 years old, just like Giles Thornton, I'm helping in Montana. And uh, they're gonna be NASCAR stars very early age. So that's why we have the youth movement, new evolution of racing's going on in NASCAR. Well, you certainly helped pave the way for some of the success. Hey, I, I enjoyed now. that. I've enjoyed the truck series from the greatest racing. Tune in Friday night on Speed. Yes. And uh, it'll be live. I'm telling you, it'll be a great race. Speaking of Daytona on Friday night, Rick finished runner-up in the standings in 2002, then followed it up with a victory in the first race of the season at Daytona in 2003. We want you to walk us through it. There's your truck. Here we go. Spot shadowed right there. Final lap. You got some uh, talent around. Yeah, I was actually too. leading going into the last lap, and then going down the back straightaway, uh, Bobby Hamilton and Robert Presley got ahead of me, and uh, I thought, maybe you know, maybe these, I'm just third today. I'm going to lost this race again. Come off turn four. I remembered that slingshot move between Richard Petty and uh, David Pearson. I tried it myself. Beat them to the line. Won the Daytona 250, and that was the first race on speed. How about that? Very cool moment. One of the best finishes in Camping World Truck Series history. Does that stand out to you as a highlight in your career? Absolutely. I'm very proud. Very proud to win Daytona. And that's the reason this short deal came together so quick because how can you pass up a trip to go to Daytona? How could you pass up that stash? That was a good look, that mustache. It was hard to color in that. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Five career wins for Rick Crawford in the camp truck series sir we wish you the best of luck hey, I, I know it's Appreciate gonna be that. fun oh, we can't wait fun. for everybody to watch too yeah exactly daytona is friday you can catch qualifying on speed at 1 30 p.m eastern the setup with chris devota is later at seven and the next era energy 250 rolls off under the lights just after 7 30.